chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us now take up a few solved examples on parallel lines in our first question he has given two parallel lines AB and CD and he has also given a transversal. He has marked this angle as 2x and this angle has been marked as 4x plus 12 and he has said that EF is a transversal that is cutting two parallel lines AB and CD find the value of x find the value of x this question is taken from a recent SSC exam and let us see how to solve this question so we we see that this is the transversal and this is one angle this is other angle now about transversals and parallel lines we basically know of corresponding angles so if this is marked as y, if this angle is marked as y, then we can see that y is corresponding to 2x. So this is how we will reason out since AB is parallel to CD, angle y, I will simply write y to avoid the angle sign there. So this one can be used but I am writing it y. To simplify things, to simplify clutter, I'll say y should be exactly equal to 2x. This is one thing that is available with me. Since a, b and c, d are parallel, y should be exactly equal to 2x. Now, again, line c, d is a straight line, is a straight line. So, 4x plus 12 and y should add up to 180. The reason is supplementary, supplementary straight angles, straight line. So, this is what I mean here. Now, put y from 1 here and we get 4x plus 12 plus 2x equal to 180 which implies 4x and 2x can be combined to 6x plus 12 equal to 180 which implies 6x is equal to 180 minus 12 which implies x is equal to 180 minus 12 by 6 and therefore I can say this will go for 30, this will go for 2 and which gives me 28 degrees as the answer. Questions on geometry are really easy but only thing is that you should be aware of the concepts. As I told you in my previous lecture that you should be very well versed in the single fact that two parallel lines have corresponding angles which are equal after that, you can do anything with parallel lines. Let us take our next question now. In this question, this question was not through any previous exams, but this question is a very good question from NCRT books. Let us see how to solve this question. Here he says, PQ is parallel to ST. This is PQ, this is parallel to ST and angle PQR is 110 degrees. Angle RST is 130 degrees. Find angle QRS. So basically we have to find out this angle which we can label as X degrees. This question is really tricky but if we see one idea that let us push a line parallel to 
these two lines are parallel to each other therefore we can draw a third line parallel to either of them this line can be drawn through r and let us label it as x y so draw a line draw a line x y parallel to p q so i would rather say x r y so that it becomes parallel it becomes straight x r y it becomes clear that it is passing through this r draw a line x r y parallel to p q therefore this angle this angle i'll mark as angle 1 therefore angle 1 plus 110 should be equal to 180 degrees the reason is that qr is a transversal qr is a transversal for pq parallel to xry and these angles are interior angles on same side of transversal and interior angles on same side of transversal they are always supplementary they add to 180 degrees and if i label this as angle 2 similarly similarly angle 2 plus 130 should be equal to 180 degrees so we can conclude that angle 1 is equal to 180 minus 110 will make me 70 degrees and angle 2 is equal to 180 minus 130 will make it 50 degrees so this is what i have so far let us apply further reasoning now x r y is a straight line x r y is a straight line so angle 1 plus x plus angle 2 should be 180 degrees so they will add to 180 degrees which implies put angle 1 as 70 plus x plus angle 2 as 50 which is equal to 180 now i am writing somewhere degrees and somewhere i am missing them but in your class 10th or other exams your examiner might cut marks but i am loosely doing it here because objective type questions only idea you don't have to be very specific in handwriting there but in case some test is made then you should be very careful about these degrees being placed correctly everywhere so which implies x degrees is equal to so what is this 120 and 180 this one in 120 on the other side will be 180 minus 120 which is equal to 60 degrees so this is how we can reason out that this angle x is equal to 60 degrees let us move to our next question now